You vote on it in November whether to legalize medical marijuana in our state. And right now, hundreds of dispensaries in California are being ordered to shut down. Only at 10, ABC 15's Christina Boomer explores how that could affect our state. In this San Francisco neighborhood, medical marijuana dispensaries seem to be just about everywhere. I support medical marijuana, but I would like to have something else in my neighborhood. It's statements like that which have this Arizona mother worried. With everything, there's abuse. How we regulate things determines how much it's going to be abused. A lot of the concerns that people are having are based off of California's law and the way it was implemented in California. California, basically, they have more dispensaries in, Los An in the city of Los Angeles than they do Starbucks. They have over 800 dispensaries within the city of Los Angeles. Attorney Bill Knowlton of Rose Law Group says they aren't representing either side in the debate. What they are doing is breaking down for you what will happen if medical marijuana passes here this November. There's only going to be 120 dispensaries allowed in the state of Arizona, and those have to be evenly distributed throughout the state among all the population centers. He does say places with more people, like Maricopa County, will have more dispensaries than, let's say, Apache County. If you're 25 miles away from the nearest dispensary, you can get a special permit to grow your own, so long as you meet the other requirements of having a doctor's prescription for the medical marijuana. You won't be able to smoke smoke in public, or drive after smoking. They are the kind of rules that may put people like Rose Lukavsky at ease. It would definitely make a difference. You've got to regulate it if you're going to put it out there for people. And prevent a lot of the problems that California is currently having. Christina Boomer, ABC 15 News.